Hello everyone, it's Terhi here again and I'm happy to share with you my first May HipKit Club layout which I'm very excited about because I saw this kind of uh, round um, sketch in somewhere, I don't remember where and then I decided to do something like that for my next HipKit Club layout which is featuring lots of great paper buttons and chipboards and of course the delicious watercolors we had in May Color Kit they are from Prima Marketing and I simply love them they are so rich colored and I have no bad words about it Anyway, let's start. Um, I'm just uh, going through my papers from the make, make kits and thinking about which one to use. I'm definitely going to use that uh, green one because it's so beautiful and it's from crate paper and it fits perfectly for the uh, crate paper chipboard, stick chipboard <laughs> stickers. No, I shouldn't talk too fast because then my um, mouth doesn't uh, go with my mind and then we are here saying nothing. Anyway, uh, I'm starting with sketching the circle um, because I want to make sure that I have enough white space on my layout as usual. Um, and to make sure I'm not filling the layout too much. So I draw a little circle there, which I'm going to use. It might be a little visible um, uh, when it's finished, but I don't mind. I'm going through the exclusive HipKit Club exclusive uh, die cuts, ephemera pack, whatever, uh, and picking up the things I might use on this layout. There are lots of beautiful flowers and stuff like that, but and stuff like that, but I'm not using it for this layout because I have some other ideas. Uh, I took some papers, just actually two papers. That's a very small amount of papers for me. And I added them together and that's my paper layers. I don't know what I'm doing. It's like using nothing. Well, anyway, I'm going to use lots of paper in other ways, so that will save me for this time. Mm. Uh, I used double-sided tape to glue down the papers, and now I'm thinking where to add the biggest chipboard flowers I want to use. Uh, as you see, I added some thread because that thread kind of helps me to make the circle design again. And it also adds a lot of texture for this layout and some softness and things like that. And I really adore it. Uh, I'm going to use three of these big flower stickers. And then I want to make sure that these lovely patterns are visible too, so I'm keeping there, them just next to my layout so I will remember to use them. Otherwise it might come up with no patterns and then I'm like, oh no, what happened? It wouldn't be like disaster, but now that I want to use them, it would be a little disaster. Anyway, um, I want to use more paper and as I don't want to use two large papers, I got some little circles and little squares and attached, uh, added, uh, blah, 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 attached them together uh, for my layout and then I'm using uh, 3D foam to add them little paper clusters here and there. They are kind of like embellishments because I will set them to my circle design. Uh, but just the perfect thing to add something to the layout and I love to play with paper so it's the perfect thing for this. Uh, I'm using a lot of 3D foam for this layout again as I wouldn't um, 
be doing that like the last 10 layouts it's just that sometimes we um, figure out something and then repeating it on layout and layout and layout but it doesn't matter uh, I really like to do it this way right now and probably will do something else in just a few months anyway I'm adding the buttons here and there and then the hip kit club exclusive butterfly and I uh, folded the wings a bit because I want to make sure it looks like really dimensional butterfly and it does it really does and then I'm adding these little paper pieces here and there and they are they are being my embellishments and my everything uh, some are uh, attached with a stapler but some are just with um, glue or the 3d foam uh, that's because I want to have different kind of uh, levels on the layout and this will do it I really love the way that paper is looking when I have used the punch like many many times it's like a skeleton or something so naked and it would be lovely to use that on some other layout too uh, I was thinking at this point that I have something black on my photograph to uh, sunglasses and the uh, trousers my daughter is wearing so I want to add something black for the layout too because otherwise the black from the photograph will jump off to my eyes every time I see this layout so that's why I took my little uh, pencil or marker the effect might look like it's not there it's nothing but it is something and it is there so it it's it's visible and I needed it um, anyway the last phase of doing this layout is the best one I think it's with the watercolors um, if you are afraid to um, make your white paper to something else with watercolors don't be afraid you can use watercolors in so many ways this time I decided to uh, use the watercolors colors just as drops and little flicks here and there not actually painting with the watercolors because I don't want to add too much colors first I'm adding these lovely enamel dots here and there not too many but some and they are nice uh, also included to hip kit club uh, probably the main kit or the embellishment kit sorry I don't remember which one right now anyway they will add some more color and some more texture because they are all flat and nice and beautiful and slim and I do love them um, but then I'm going to grab my watercolors and add some flicks of color here and there um, at this point I wasn't sure which color is is which one of course I can see the yellow is something like yellow and so on but um, I haven't made the uh, color map for me so I tried tried to find the right green and right blue for this layout and then I'm just flicking some here and there and as you see I'm using really thin um, brush which will make really thin and small flicks of the color which is really easy to use now that I don't want to mess the whole layout up so this will do the perfect work also adding some yellow as I have some yellow buttons and I have this wonderful yellow flower on on the upper right corner and that's it um, of course I let the watercolors to dry for a while because I don't want to um, have some falling drops everywhere so that was it and it was nice and there's lots of going on on the layout but I also think 
it's really peaceful layout and fun layout and pretty layout and pink layout but anyway uh, i hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in next week thanks for watching and have a nice day